Hi, I'm Alex Grange. I'm a technical marketing engineer supporting the Expedition product line. I'm going to step you through the process of assigning 3D models in Expedition layout and pushing them to the central library so that all projects can use this in the future. I will first assign a 3D model to an 042 capacitor using our mentor starter library. We can query the 3D parametric information to find a corresponding match with your 2D cell that you have created in your central library. In this case, we can filter on package name. Here, we can view the 3D model, see the parametric details, and even assign this model to all part numbers using the same cell name if we wish. Once the model is applied to the cell, you can see it in the 3D view. We can then open the Manage Mappings dialog to assign multiple part numbers and cells to that same 3D model. As you can see, we assigned an 042 capacitor, but there are several unmapped. We can assign these unmapped parts to that 3D model that we just imported into Expedition. Another alternative to assigning 3D models in Expedition layout is the model generator. This allows us to query our starter library and find an appropriate 3D model filtering by package type. In model generator, you can browse all package types for the 3D models in the starter library. In this case, we're looking for a 64 pin QFN package. In the dialog, we can specifically filter the component information, like the pin count, as we are only looking for a 64 pin QFN. In this example, we need a 9x9 QFN, which we'll choose and assign an expedition layout. In Expedition, it's also possible to import third-party models. Whether you get them directly from your mechanical designer or directly from the web, you can import them into Expedition Layout. In this case, we will assign a 3D model to the USB connector in Cell Editor. We will select the part number in Cell Editor and browse to our USB connector, which we downloaded from the web. Here you can see we have rotation markers to allow us to quickly rotate the 3D model to be aligned with the 2D cell, as most mechanical libraries do not follow the same coordinate system as the electrical database. Once the model is in the correct orientation, we can use the align pit pad center command to align the 3D model pin with the 2D pad stack. Once it's aligned, we can finally use the seating plane command where the USB will sit on the board substrate. You can see we can quickly assign and align a 3D model very quickly in the expedition flow. Now that we have assigned our 042 capacitor, QFN, and USB connector, we can do a bulk assign to associate 3D models to your missing 2D components. This is very similar to the search M3DL command as it searches off the same SQL database with the 3D models that fits your 2D cell component. Here we can modify the query or choose to unprocess specific components. In this case, we will leave the default settings and process all missing models. Once the assignment is complete, we can review and see our 3D model assignment directly in Expedition Layout. Now that we have all the 3D models assigned in Expedition Layout, we can upload the 3D information to the central library so that other designers and projects can take advantage of our 3D model assignment. In this example, you can see that there are no 3D models assigned in the central library currently. However, if there were assignment, you have the ability to choose to overwrite or do not process particular 3D models when uploading them to the central library. We can take the 3D model assignment and update it in the central library. Once the library is updated, any part number or cell that uses that 3D model will be brought over to the next project to be reused. You can view the local and library mapping in the Manage Mapping dialog in the mapping column. Now that all 3D models are assigned to our project, we can continue our work on the PCB design and run real-time and batch DRC 
to identify interferences in your electrical design.